Hey everyone, welcome back to online study for you, a complete coding solution for everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing Infosys SPDSC coding question. Yes, we'll be discussing Infosys SPDSC coding question that were asked in the previous year. So we'll be discussing a hard level coding question so that you can pre be prepared for all the types of questions that were asked, that will be asked in the upcoming test. So let's begin with the video and First of all, let's see what's the problem statement of this question is. So now coming on to the problem statement, the question says is, while playing an RPG game, you're assigned to complete one of the hardest quests in this game. So now what the question is, there are N monsters you need to defeat in the question. So first of all, we have N monsters that will be given to us. Okay, each monster I is described with two integer numbers, power I and bonus I. So now every monster, every monster M will be having power I and bonus I. Okay. To defeat this monster, you will need at least power I experience point. So now you will be having some experience points. Okay. And to defeat any monster, you need to have enough experience points. If you try fighting this monster without having enough experience points, you will lose immediately. Suppose your monster is having 150 power points and you are having only 100 experience points. Then you can't defeat this monster and you will lose immediately. So always you need to have higher experience point to defeat any monster. Uh, defeat any monster. Okay. Now, you will also gain Bonzoi experience points if you defeat the monster. Now, suppose... Uh, there is a monster 150 and you have power 200 and its bonzo eye is 100. And now if you defeat this monster, then you will gain this bonzo eye and this will be added to your experience point. So now total experience point will become 300. Okay. So this is how the things will go on. You can defeat monster in any order. Now the order, now all the monster that will be given, you can defeat them in any order according to your choice, according to your convenience. Okay. Now, what we need to give the output that let's see that the quest turned out to be very hard. You try to defeat the monster, but keep losing repeatedly. Your friend told you uh, that this quest is impossible to complete. So first of all, you don't need to complete this quest because it's an impossible quest. They have already told you. Now, knowing that, what do you need to uh, give the output? You need to give the output. What is the maximum possible number of monsters you can defeat? Okay, so the maximum possible number, uh, the maximum number of monsters that you can defeat, that output you need to give. That means you need to give the count here. Okay, so I hope the question is all clear. Let's take a revision of the question. That is, uh, we'll be having n monsters with the power i and bonus i. With each monster, we'll be having power i and bonus i. You will be having experience points, and you need to. Uh, defeat as many monsters as you can uh, and there's a condition that your experience points will or should always be greater than the power eye of each monster okay and as soon as you kill the uh, monster you will gain the bonzo eye of that particular monster and that will be added to your experience point i hope the question is all clear now let's move on to the some uh, examples so that you can understand the question better and then we will be moving to the coding part of this question so coming on to the input format first, so uh, the input will be given like there will be first of all n will be given which will be denoting the number of monsters. So here for this output we have two monsters. The next line contains an integer e denoting your initial experience. So this will be your initial experience. Okay, That is your experience points. Now each line i of the n subsequent line contains an integer power i which represents power of the corresponding monster. So these will represent the power of the corresponding mon uh, monsters. So this is power i. And then the next lines will uh, resemble the bonzo i. So this will be bonzo i of the monster. Okay. So this is how the things are given. Now let's see how many monsters we can defeat. So suppose my initial experience is 123 and the monsters I have, I have one with 78 uh, power and 10 bonds y, another with 130 power and 0 bonds y. Okay. So what if, if I, uh, which monster I can kill right now? I can only kill this monster because the experience point, uh, I have experience points 123 and the power of other monster is greater than that. 
So I can I can't kill this monster. I can only kill this monster at this time. So first of all, I'll prefer to kill this monster. I defeated this monster, and as soon as I defeated this monster, I got this bonzo eye, and that got added to my experience point, and it became one thirty three now. Now I have one thirty three. Can I now kill this monster? Yes, now I can kill this monster. So now I'll kill this monster too, and now I'll add this zero to the uh answer that is my experience first so now my total experience point is 133 and how many monsters i killed i uh, killed this monster i killed this monster so in total i killed two monsters and that is what the output is so <coughs> uh so i hope you got the question that uh how the things will flow now let's see how we can solve this question and now let's see the solution part of this question so coming on to the solution part of this question, okay. So first of all, let's write uh, the input that we were already having earlier. So earlier we were having two monsters, then one with the, uh, then my power was 123, other monsters power was 73, and one monster was having power 70, uh, 130. And uh, bonus points I was getting was 10 and zero, right? This was the uh, input that was given. Now let's see how we can solve this question. What we need to do. First of all, do you see what some kind of arrangement we need to do? Because how we can start defeating the monsters? What will be the most nicest way to defeat the monster uh, according to you? If I have the power, one specific power and I have these monsters. So can I say that sorting the powers of the monsters can help me? Yes, I can say that because uh, the lesser the power, the uh, easier will be to defeat the, the, that monster, right? And uh, I will be able to track that till here I can defeat all the monsters or till here I can defeat all the monsters. So I have sorted them. Along with that, I need to always take the bo bonzu eyes also. Bonus points also I need to take them together only. Else they will get messed up, right? So I'll keep the uh, bonus points together also. So with 78, I have 10 bonus points. With 30, 130, I have 0 points. Now this is kind of an array. And now what I will do with 123 power, I will start traversing this array. And first of all, I uh, got this. I'll check whether it is less than or not. Yes, this is less than. So I will defeat this monster. I will add the bonus points. And I will move to the next monster. Now again, I will check whether I'll be able to defeat this monster or not. Yes, I'll be able to defeat this monster. So I'll defeat this monster. I'll take the power and I will move to the next. And at some point, suppose uh, here is uh, 500 and with 500 power. Okay, bonus point. But will I be able to defeat this uh, monster? No, I won't be able to defeat this monster. So here my point, uh, here my uh, question will end and I will come out of the loop. And I will print whatever the count will be. As soon as I will be defeating the pointer, I can plus plus the count. And at last, I can output this count. Okay. So this is how I can do this. But now there is one problem that we need to think of some of the data structure that can help us to store the things this way. So what we can think is, uh, we can make one monster object or we can make one uh, um, unordered map where we can uh, keep them together. Okay. So suppose I made one monster object, okay, uh, which is having power I. I'll show you into the code that will be easier for you to understand power and bonus. So I'll keep uh, powers here and I'll keep the bonuses here. Then I'll sort the powers according to the ascending order. In the ascending order, I'll uh, uh, sort the monsters according to the power of powers in ascending order. Okay, you will see how this will happen into the code. Don't worry about that. And then uh, uh, accordingly, the bonuses will be also adjusted to the each monster. And this is how we'll be solving this question. So we need uh, not, uh, we do, don't need to do anything. We need to sort according to the powers, according to the power. And then we need to traverse that particular array one by one if the monster's power is less, defeat that power monster, add the bonus point to the experience point. Okay. And then move to the next and uh, go till where they are, uh, till the monster's powers are less. Okay. Monster's power are less. You can uh, keep on defeating them. Okay. And 
keep on increasing the point as soon as uh, you are defeating the monster and keep on adding the bonus point to your experience point and this is how you can solve the question and at last you can output this count so i hope now the things are all clear now let's move on to the coding part of this question so that you can uh, see that how you can code this question also because here the major thing was to think how what data structure you can use or how you can code this the logic was very simple but the coding can be a bit tricky here okay so let's move on to the coding part now so now coming on to the code the code is in java first of all we have imported all the necessary classes uh, so we have array comparator and character class now uh, inside after that we made the main class and inside the main class first of all we needed number of monsters so we took the number of monsters in then we needed experience the user the our experience so uh, experience point so we took experience as a variable and then we were uh, needed to store powers and the bonuses of the monster uh, of all the monsters so we made two areas monster and bonus and we uh, stored the powers and the bonuses uh, individually okay. so once having all the data, as I said, somewhere we need to store power I and bonus, uh, bonus together. So for that, I made one monster object. And inside that, I uh, took power and bonus variables so that we can store, or sorry, I took the class monster. And inside that, uh, that I took power and bonus variable. Now I'll be storing all the things here only. So for that, I took the, I started storing all the things that of the powers and bonus here. I stored all the things and once I have all the things into the monsters, that is all the powers and bonus are here now. Uh, what I'll be doing, I'll be sorting the array. So I have sorted the array and for sorting, we have comparator if you want to sort according to one particular value. So here we need to sort according to the powers of the monster. So I use the comparator, which is comparing the powers. Okay. And now this will give me the uh, all the monster powers in the ascending order. And the bonuses will also be arranged accordingly. So this is how the things will work. And this is the main thing that you need to know in terms of coding for, for coding such questions. So now we have all the things arranged, right? We have more powers in ascending order and all the bonuses are arranged accordingly also. We have the number of monsters. We have the, our experience points also. So now I took the count. I simply started traversing my monster uh, uh, object. Uh, and I checked if my experience is less than uh, the power monster's power, then I'll break immediately because then I can't defeat that monster. And there's no need to go further because all the monsters will be having greater power. Right? Uh, but if that's not the case, then I'll be adding the uh, bonus of that particular monster into my experience point and I'll increase the count. And I'll again traverse further to that particular monster object. Okay. Now, uh, at last, after doing all the things, I'll be printing the count simply. So this is how you need to code the question. So that's it for this video. We'll keep bringing more such videos. Until then, keep watching online study for you videos. Thank you.